In this video, I want to give you an example of how we can adapt the Poisson distribution to deal with different rates. So, let's say the number of calls received at an office per 5 minutes is modelled by a Poisson distribution with a mean of 3.2. So, let's write that down as x, and I'm going to write it with a 5 next to it, just to identify that this is a 5 minute period, is a Poisson distribution with a mean of 3.2. So let's say I want to know, well, what's the distribution I should use if it's a 10-minute period? Well, if that's the average over a 5-minute period, 3.2, then over a 10-minute period, you would expect it to be a Poisson distribution, but now with an average of 6.4. You've doubled the amount of time, and so you would double the average. OK? So, if you wanted um, a 30-minute period, so a 30-minute period would be a Poisson distribution. Well, I need to multiply that through by 3, and that would be 19.2. So, for a 30-minute period, the average would be 19.2. If it's a 1-hour period, that's a 60-minute rate, a 60-minute period. So, x60 would be a Poisson distribution. Uh, with an average of 38.4. OK, so keep an eye out for the rate and whether it's changed, whether you then need to change the distribution you're working with in order to solve the problem.